I'm Moody Beach. And I'm Golfang. And you're watching Tone Deaf. That lamp show is set in the thing. I met Paddy at my first show with a band called The Melodrones and he said, I like your hubba hubba voice, we should use it. I met Paddy at one of my gigs as well. We just clicked. I, I kind of knew him from Sticky Fingers and Mutual Friends. I actually only met Goldfang on the set. <laughs> Like, we met each other on the set of the video. It was dope. We clicked straight away because just because of what the track is. In the studio, I just felt really comfortable. I felt like I could be myself. And with Classic, I think the lyrics really spoke to me. And I felt like I could just get into it and, you know, feel the ecstasy and just go for it. For me, well, when I heard Classic for the first time, I was just like, man, this shit doesn't need anything else. Like, this is like... <laughs> This is perfect, you know, it's like, what am I going to do? And um, Paddy just said, add whatever you're feeling, whatever flavor you're feeling. And I did that. Goldfang, can you hear me? I can't hear shit, man. It sounds like a couple of turkeys playing Chinese checkers in here. <laughs> can we dial it down a couple of notches, please, guys? Fuck this, man. Lass uns das noch einmal versuchen. I'm going to miss my acupuncture appointment. Each person who has been involved in this project has their own project so it's this beautiful domino effect when there's a success it's like a shared success it feels like a family yeah that's awesome to be part of i can't wait to get out honestly as soon as the first show i'm, I'm i'll probably be there an hour early setting up for the boys <laughs> yeah you know that's that's how excited we are to play this obviously live music has kind of taken its toll and it's just going to feel so good to share this track with a live audience i've never really i don't really tap into the radio too much because i'm i'm so focused on doing my my music but when i did it was just next level to hear the things that they were saying about classic. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that they knew that I was from Trinidad and I'm an old athlete, you know, I used to... I didn't know that. Yeah, I used I to... I thought that was a joke. No, it's not, it's not. I used, to, I used to do walking competitions. Um, it's, it's weird because it's not, it's not an actual, like, sport. A lot of people don't look at it as an actual sport, but it is. So, I used to... <laughs> Um, I quit. I actually, um, I actually quit. But um, yeah, I was an athlete before, so it was good to hear him include all of that in the in the premiere. Actually, and yeah, and my dad is in the Guinness Book of World Records for for limbo. So it's just a bunch of Guinness. Hey, yeah, yeah, Guinness. <laughs> I need a sponsor after this motherfucker. Yeah, man. How deep is that car? It's like <laughs> it doesn't end. It's like a fucking well. Yeah. Yeah, man.